Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Summer Fina and Lit. Like you know, they are a breaker, so let's compare them to Krilla and Heavenly Technician Lit. So as a breaker, what you need to pay attention is their survivability and MP. So Summer Fina and Lit are really good because like you can see, they get 100% health boost higher than Krilla and Heavenly Technician Lit. Krilla already got her awakening, so yeah. Summer Fina and Lit really good and for defense and spirit 60% not the highest number but as a breaker they are pretty good okay 70% 70, 70 MP are also good only 10% lower than Krilla Heavily Technician Lit is the lowest here but it is perfectly understandable because she is an old character and I believe she will get her awakening soon other than stats boost Summer Fina and Lit gets Sleep, Confused, and Petrify, a good resist but still vulnerable to Paralyze, okay, so not that complete in my opinion, and only 5% and PD gen per turn, very small, and gets a niche 50% water resist which will be useful for the um, Octopus Teacher Trial, and basically that's it, the rest only 100% Fossil AB fuel rate which is good because you rely on their break I mean limit press and get 2 LB gauge regen per turn quite nice but pretty bland in my opinion enough about stats now let's take a look on their abilities so let's take a look on their breaks abilities first so like heavily technician lead and Krilla they also have single stats single target break okay and the basic number is 60% which is inferior compared to uh, Krilla Awakened abilities because Krilla able to break uh, yeah, 65% 5% better but the thing you need to pay attention is if you use Beach House Break okay then this skill is gonna be improved the main thing here is you cannot combine your beach house break with other abilities. Yes, they learn dual cast on some abilities, but beach house break is not one of them. That's why if you have used your beach house break on the next turn, make sure you use two of these skills. That way you get two improved abilities. My recommendation is of course beach house I mean beach attack and summer sun because after you use beach house break this will break 74% attack and magic to all enemies which is very good and yeah the top tier break at this point of the game and the extra of this breaks is it also imperil the enemy's elemental resist so if you follow my advice by using ultra beach attack and ultra summer sun then you will imperil water lightning resist by water lightning and fire resist by 100% lightning and fire are really common on this game okay so lightning for lightning you have aster for fire you have xeno so really this they i mean yeah they really compatible with top tier attackers at this point of the game and yes this break are really good and for cooldown abilities it is another break but I have said this on my preview video that this while good maybe not that good first it is kind of mediocre because the cooldown the cooldown is 10 turns which is very long in my opinion because if you take a look on other characters Krilla her 70% break um, 6 turns cooldown so this one's 10 turns cooldown I know that you get auto re-raise by using this but again you usually want to use this on the first turn on the battle right because you have seen that before her normal break only 60% okay so this is what you want to use on the first turn in the battle use ultimate sister but if it is used on the first turn then i must say the auto re-raise may be not that useful because auto re-raise rarely needed on the beginning of the battle 
Okay, I said rarely. And after that, you need 10 turns to be able to use this. So basically, when you use Fit, you want to use Ultimate Sista on the first turn. On the second turn, you want to use the next skill, Beach House Break. Okay, this will increase LB gauge, which is really, really nice for yourself. This will fill 14 LB, which is half of your LB gauge. And after using this, on the next turn, use your Ultra Summer Attack. I forgot the name, Ultra Summer Sun and Summer Attack. So you will break 74% attack, enemies attack and magic. Okay, it is really good because when you use that ultra attack, ultra breaks, I mean, your ultimate sister breaks effects are already disappear. So that's how you use it. After that, you need to rely on your LB. But I think that's not a problem because like you can see here, her LB only requires 28 LB crystals, which is very low. Okay, so really good compared to heavenly technician lead, heavenly technician lead need 32 LB crystals so 28 is really really low guys you can spam this I believe every three turns you won't have any difficulty because yeah she already has innate innate 100% uh, faster LBV rate and let's talk about other abilities okay her other abilities are the things that make them really special 74% break while good are not that special in my opinion because Auron, Loren, Krilla able to do that. But these other abilities are their only special ability. The first one, Aqua Hunter. So this will buff your water resist by 75% which is really good again for Octopus Teacher Trial. This also buff you, buff your damage against Aquatic again, Octopus Teacher and yeah this is good next lovely water this lovely water is also really good because it imbue water element to all allies so you don't need to multiple yeah you don't need to wait multiple turns to be able to give a character water element okay simply one turn but make sure you have charm resist on your character and again, this is another thing why Esther is really good because Esther has innate charm resist. Whoa. Okay. And next, Beach Parasol. This again, another water buff, but this will give you a nice healing. So it is on par with Q Raja. So, yes, you can spam this. And another good thing is this also recover MP. You can also double cast this. So, whoa guys, you can maintain your health and MP at the same time. It is basically much better version of dedication from Ayaka. So really good. But I think the best ability that this fit have is Water Fight. This will grant you Water Splash. Water Splash is really good guys. Because I think because of this skill, you don't need to have lovely water because this also gives you Aurel Ray Chaining and it is already has water element so you can deal elemental chain easily this is I think this is what makes uh, Beach uh, Summertime or oh, Summerfina and Lit sorry guys Summerfina and Lit really good because yeah no one able to do this before you may say Sylvie able to do that Yes, you're correct, but Sylvie only gives you non-elemental attack. You need about two turns. First, give uh, ability to for a character. On the next turn, she need to give you an elemental buff to a to those characters to do to be able to do elemental chain. But for Summer, Fina, and Lit, they able to do this within one turn. And Aurel Ray chain is really easy. You can get high hit counts, okay? So this make a character like Sid and maybe future Regina really, really viable for your party because you can make anyone into Chainer and turn that finisher into dealing insane damage, okay? So this is really the MVP skill for them, okay? So I think that's all you need to know about abilities. 
Now let's talk about equipment. So for equipment, what you want to gear up them is with faster reliability rate because yes, you really need to rely on their LB to break. Okay, you have seen that Ultimate Sista have 10 turns cooldown, so yeah, your break is limited to your LB. I mean, okay, not limited. You can use Beach House Break, but that's a setup. So to make it easier, simply rely on your LB, okay, by giving them faster LB fuel rate. And yeah, by giving them double dagger, bowie knife or whatever, okay, make them dual wielder with hike height plus, you can achieve hike faster LB fuel rate. After that, simply boost their survivability, okay? So yeah, enough about equipment. My conclusion for Summer Fina and Lit. Summer Fina and Lit right now is really good character. I don't say good breaker because yes, they are good, but again, they are not that special because 74, 75% breaks are kind of common right now. And again, I don't say they are bad, okay? They are good breaker, but superb as a character because really guys, they are really slot efficient. Okay, because they can act also as a healer. Okay, so you can ditch your healer if you don't need. Uh, yeah, you can ditch your healer if you have, especially if you have Sylvie. Because remember, guys, Sylvie able to give you an ailment resist. So yeah, you can use this as a healer and breaker. Okay, which is really slot efficient. And don't forget, I think the thing that makes them most special is the ability to grant aureal ray chaining to everyone that's absolutely beast okay so if you ask me should you pull for them then i think you should answer that by yourself simply ask yourself do you have top tier breaker if the answer is yes then the second question is ask yourself do you need aureal ray chaining for your family I mean for party if yes then of course pull summer fina and lit but if the answer is no let's say you already have good party setup then maybe it's better to save your lapis for Aerit or maybe cg charlotte in the future really okay i think if you ask me yeah are summer fina and lit the best breaker maybe not because yeah, heavily technician lead able to break 79%. So of course as a breaker, heavily technician lead. I mean Summer Fina and Lead not the best, but as a character, they are one of the best character on this game, okay? The boss breaker. Okay, not the best, but boss breaker. And for you who have Krilla like me, you don't need to be salty because Krilla also still very good because she can deal 65% break okay not naturally without any setup and yes Krilla able to refill her LB gauge easily using I forgot the name Dark Anathema or whatever so yeah I believe Krilla also able to maintain this 75% break easily and on a mission where you cannot use LB if you yeah no lb missions then krilla is superior than summer fina and lit because she doesn't need to use her lb okay but really guys if you want to pull for summer fina and lit that's also a good choice because like i said they are really superb character i give them 10 out of 10 boss breaker but yeah compared to krilla and heavily technician lit if you ask me what's Krilla's score right now, I must say as a breaker, Krilla is still solid 10. But as a character like Summer Fina and Lit, maybe Krilla only 9. Same for Heavily Technician Lit. But remember, Heavily Technician Lit should get her awakening soon. Okay, which make her really good too. So it, maybe if you short on Lapis and what you only need is a breaker. Then maybe wait for heavily technician lit. 
awakening okay but it is all up to you thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy perfect fps guide bye bye guys